Renee Linyard Gary. The power of mobile health is the fact that you can culminate so many resources for your community. One, you engage with your community, get their buy-in, their input. Two, you can also bring in the financial resources from donors and others. And three, you shed light on some of the top priorities and needs in your community. The questions that are asked and brokered because your unit is out in the community. People want to know, why are you here? What services are you providing? I think it's a great place to bridge the gap between community and what those health needs are and then bringing in key stakeholders to help you move the needle around increasing access to care. The Mobile Health Leadership Summit was phenomenal. I can remember two years ago when I was looking to start our mobile uh, health program within our region and wondering who was doing it, what was happening out in the community. This Leadership Summit would have been perfect two years ago, but what better time than now to be a part of this phenomenal and uh, inaugural program that Mission Mobile has put together for leaders like me within health systems, federally qualified health centers, and just the general community as at large. Want to start a clinic? I would say start slow. Uh, know what the needs are in your areas first, because what you don't want to do is go somewhere where you're not needed. Um, so taking the time to get to know where the health needs are, um, what programming would you be able to mobilize, no pun intended, um, and so that's going to be key before you start a program. But then also community engagement, stakeholder engagement is top priority. You cannot go in communities and do something to them. You have to engage with them and, and help them help you put your clinic on the road.